before you watch the video. Subscribe the channel now. Yes, right now. Kia and its stable made high and I have been killing it recently with good cars. While the Kia Stinger has garnered a lot of attention recently, the South Korean brand is hoping to make a splash in the luxury segment with a new K900 flagship sedan. On Tuesday, the automaker recently a few new teasers of the sedan before its debut next month. Renderings are never a good thing to go off of, but Kia's latest sketches give us a decent idea of what the luxurious sedan should look like. The vehicle was styled by Kia's design headquarters in Name Yang, Korea and the brand's US design studio in Irvine, California. From what we can tell, the sedan has a handsome design. There's a lot of BMW at the front, with the vehicle having a similar face to the 5th gen BMW 7 series. The headlights are different, of course, as is the grille. Overall, though, they look pretty similar. Moving to the back of the vehicle, the sedan looks like it borrows the taillights from another heavy hitter from Germany, the new Mercedes-Benz S-Class. It looks like a lot of automakers are moving towards luxury vehicles with large, gaping intakes at the front. Kia's move to go with something a little tidier could help the K900's case. Overall, it's a handsome design that Kia claims is sophisticated and stately. As far as standout design cubes, Kia really wants people to notice its quadric pattern signature grille that has 176 cells. Can you imagine how frustrating it would have been to count all of those cells? The grille is apparently based on the changing shape of condensed energy and is the focal point on the sedan. Even in the renderings, the grille looks really good. We hope it's just as striking on the real car. Another thing Kia points out is its use of chrome on the sedan. From the pictures, we can tell that the shiny stuff will be on the grille surround, lower front intake, side sills, window line, mirrors, rear taillight housing, rear bumper, and exhaust pipes. It's a little more chrome than the old K900 had, but if the automaker's really attempting to win luxury consumers over, it's the way to go. Kia teased the new K900 earlier this February, which gives us a better look at the sedan's traditional silhouette. That teaser also revealed that the sedan would make its debut in April, making the New York Auto Show the most logical date for its unveiling. The K900 will go on sale in the second quarter of 2018.